Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Albert Speak. I'm class of 1995 and assistant principal for instructional technology. And I'm happy to welcome you to our fifth episode of Tech Tuesday, even though this one is on Thursday. Uh, I apologize for the scheduling conflict. Um, so tonight, what we are going to do, let's throw up a PowerPoint. Um, a couple of different things. We're just gonna throw out some reminders and also um, I'll briefly mention schedules and e-textbooks and then just recap a couple of things that we've done um, throughout the summer. So uh, a few reminders. Number one, that all of the um, previous episodes are archived on our BCTV YouTube page um, and the playlist, the list is here. Um, the previous, I also have links here for the previous slide decks for the last four episodes as well as tonight's. Tonight's is a little different. It's not a shared Google um, uh, slides, it's a, a PDF file because I'm using PowerPoint because it's some of the images are a little clearer. So um, I have that up there for you. I also have a flyer about e-textbooks as well. So um, that information is, is up there. Um, and please make sure you, you download that information, uh, especially the, uh, the stuff about the slides and the e-text. And what I will do um, is I will, before I continue, I will put that in the chat um, just so everybody everybody has it. Um, so let's just put this here so it doesn't go away. I hope everybody is, is faring well with the, uh, with the weather um, and everybody is staying hopefully dry or in some cases have dried out. Um, this is the, the PowerPoint for tonight that I just put in the chat and I'm also going to put in here the tinyurl.com, oops, tinyurl.com slash BCE texts. Okay. Okay. So um, with that in, in mind, let's just lower that a little bit. Okay. That's good. Okay. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is your, uh, is your schedule. Um, now, the, the way um, we, our, our plan, uh, and I've been having multiple conversations with Mr. McElhoney, uh, I think tomorrow is the day we release your schedules, uh, which they'll be available on PowerSchool. So I'm going to talk about a couple things on how to view them and, and how to read them. Uh, but I, I think tomorrow will be the day that they, um, they get released to you. So um, let me go back to my PowerPoint. Um, your, when you log on to PowerSchool, um, you're going to get a tab that says, uh, my schedule will be on the left hand side uh, whether you're a student or, a, or a, uh, a parent and that will give you two different views of your schedule the first view you can look at is your weekly schedule or your bell schedule um, what this will do is give you a week by week agenda view of each day with the times for the periods okay so now this was a screenshot I did from two years ago so um, ignore the dates um, the, the times, depending on the day, if we have a, um, if we have a activity day or a mass day, uh, the times will look a little different. So your best place to see what time class begins and ends, for the most part, would be uh, on your bell schedule, right? Um, and really, once you go through the cycle once or twice, you'll definitely be able to, um, it'll become second nature to you, okay, how the schedule rotates. Um, what we have at Bergen is a rotating schedule, okay? So your classes will never meet at the same time two days in a row unless we're running some kind of special schedule, right? So if you look at your screen, right, and I'll try my best to – let me take my picture off. You can see the bottom. Um, on, the, on the schedule, you'll notice that every day – goes down and the periods go across. This is exactly how you'll see it on PowerSchool. Okay, so on day one, every day you have six classes out of your seven. Okay, one class will always drop. So if you're looking at this, you would take um, your first six periods on your day one schedule. Your last period drops and then comes in on day two, period six. Okay, so... On here, you see um, going from left to right, uh, yellow, dark blue, okay, so periods one, period two, 
and then homeroom. Okay, everybody's assigned to a homeroom. Uh, and then period three is green. And then as freshmen, you will all eat together as a class. So the first part of period four is freshman lunch. I can't designate that on your schedule, okay? Because we chop period four, we split it in half. You will eat while the sophomores are in class, and then you'll flip-flop. So then the sophomores go to lunch, um, and you go to class, okay? So freshmen will eat the first part of period four, which we call it 4A. Then you'll go to class 4B in the, in the pink box that says D1. Okay? Then you'll have fifth period, which is what we call your, your full block, okay? And that block is 63 minutes. That's while both the juniors and the seniors have their lunch time, okay? And then you finish the day with sixth period, which is purple. Now, the light blue that says F2, if you notice that on day two, that doesn't meet on day one, okay? So that class comes in at the end, and then the, their, your day one period one, the yellow box, drops out on day two, okay? So every class will meet six out of seven cycle days, okay? I'm hoping that makes sense, okay? I, I think once you, once you go through it, It'll make sense. I think you'll, you'll, you, you know, it'll, as you go from room to room and class to class, it'll just become second nature, okay? What I'm going to show you, um, oh, I didn't put the, this is, an, this is an old one. I thought, oh, I thought I put it, I don't know what slideshow I put it in. It's not this one. Um, this is a view of, oh, this is, this is a really old one. This is from 1617, but it'll look the same. This is what power school looks like, okay? So you'll see... Your class, the class title, the course number and section, your teacher, and your room number. All right? So it looks the same way as what I just showed you. You go day one, and you go left to right from period A through period F. Okay? So in this example, you'd go periods A, B, then homeroom, period C. The first half of period D, you go to lunch. Second half is biology. And then world history and English. Your algebra class does not meet on this day. Okay, that would meet on day two when your when your computer class or your STEM class now does not meet. Okay, so I'll let you I'll let you look at that, and certainly once you see your schedules, hopefully tomorrow, um, you'll go through this and it'll make sense. And I, I was going to put an example, a, a closer example. The other thing that it'll look a little different depending on if you look at the view. Like this is a view of just your semester courses only. So in the spring, um, well. This year, every quarter, you're going to change for art, um, STEM, PE, and business. So that you'll see four different classes in the same period, but it's once each quarter. Because you'll notice on the left, it'll say Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Okay. Um, certainly, since there's, there's so few of you and we're on it now, if anybody has any questions, throw it in the chat or unmute yourself. Uh, and I would be more than happy um, to answer any questions about the schedule. Okay. The next thing that I want to talk about is e-textbooks. Uh, Mr. Powers is in charge of all the books. Okay? He's the one that sets up your accounts and, and, and does your access to each book. I want to mention two things to you, okay? Uh, number one, your credentials for every platform you use for your books is the same, okay? So your, when you look at your iPad, um, these are the e-textbook applications that you have. So depending on the course, it might, you might use a different app for a different course, okay? Depending on what you're, what you're scheduled for, okay? So this is what's on, this is preloaded on your iPad. Right. So you're going to use the credentials to get in would be um, your Bergen Catholic email. And then your password is Bergen1955 with a capital B. And that will get you in. If you are having problems with your e-textbooks, you need to see Mr. Powers. And he's the one who was in the bookstore. Right. So make sure you see him and he will uh, be able to assist you. What you might want to do now, I don't know how he has, if he has everything populated yet. Um, you can certainly try, but if you, if you go log on and you don't see any classes or you don't see a book, don't worry because I don't know if he's done putting everybody in yet, okay? 
um, because that some of the some of the books depend on the teacher and and the and, and set up. So just don't panic. But as long as you can log in, then you're then you're fine. Okay. Um, the flyer that is linked here um, gives you all the information about each of the different platforms and what books are for what platform. Uh, rather than me try to split that up and explain that, um, I left you a link to that document that Mr. Powers created, uh, and he will be able to um, answer any specific questions about books that, that you may have. All right. uh, the next thing, I'm just going to review a couple of things. Actually, I want to go back, um, as it dawns on me, things that I wanted to say that I forgot to say. Um, starting on Tuesday, our help desk will go uh, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay, so if you're having any issues or um, problems and you email the help desk, you will get an answer if you email between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay? Um, if you email on off hours, we will answer that the next business day. All right? We will try maybe for the first weekend, um, it, depending. Okay? Um, but please keep in mind that the help desk is not a 24-7 operation. We operate, we will now do through the school year, 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. Um, if you have not picked up your devices yet, please come to the school and do that. Uh, the school is officially closed tomorrow, um, so I can't guarantee you'll be able to get in, but certainly on Tuesday we'll be open for normal hours. Please come in and make sure that you pick up um, your stuff. If you have not sent in an ID card picture, okay, you run the risk of not having a card for the first day. If you sent in your picture, it's already been printed, you're good to go. If you have not sent in a picture, please do that today so we can print an ID card so we have it for um, your first day on Thursday. Okay. Okay, so let me just recap a couple of things that we've gone over in the past. Um, you should by now have access to your email, uh, your Burn Catholic email, which you get through Gmail. And that is you know, your first initial full last name, 25, at bergencatholichs.org. Your default password is bergen12. By now, you've probably been on that and changed it. Um, it is important that you um, check that often. That's, that's an email address that should probably be on your phone so that you're always accessing it and you're always checking it uh, since that's the official way we'll communicate with you. Most emails from Bergen come from no reply at bergencatholichs.org. So please make sure you have that uh, in your contact list. Uh, power school, as I mentioned before, is where you will look for your schedule. Um, and we talked about sign-ins. We did that, um, uh, back in June. Um, so again, first initial full last name, 25 at, uh, just first initial full last name, 25. Um, if you're a student and then your initial password was Bergen, if you've been in, you've already changed that. If you have not been in yet, then, um, you'll change that. You'll be forced to change it when you log in for the first time. Okay. Um, and this is the screen that'll show you that your current password is still Bergen and you'll have to reset that um, when, you, uh, when you log in for the first time, if you're a student. If you are a parent, when you go to create your account, you will be asked to, um, you were given an access ID and an access password, which are not your credentials. You have to create, um, when you go on to the Burden Catholic Power School portal, you'll click on create account, and then you'll click on, um, actually click on create account twice, and then it brings you to this screen where you'll fill in your name, your email, your desired username, and then on the next screen, what you'll do is you'll fill in that access ID and password that we've given you, okay? So once you fill in that information, you'll have access to Power School. You'll be able to see um, your son's information. You will see a, a link on the left called My Schedule uh, once we release the schedules. And there will be a notification sent out uh, when that happens. And like I said, I'm, I'm banking on that it will be uh, tomorrow. Okay. Um, there's information if you click on School Info on Power School, um, all of your credentials. So if you haven't received or if you lost... Uh, the email with your Blackboard credentials or your Naviance access code, um, your guidance counselor. It's all under school info for you. Uh, we will post your locker combinations. You will have a locker this year, um, which we really didn't use last year because of COVID. Um, but that information will be up there as well for you. Uh, and I anticipate putting that up at some point before uh, your first day, which for freshmen is next 
Thursday. Uh, you've seen your course requests already, your, your course placements um, for this coming school year. Uh, you will, like I said, you'll see your schedule most likely tomorrow. Uh, we spent some time back in late June talking about Naviance and getting on to Naviance. Uh, if you are a student, this is a single sign-on. You'll use your uh, your Bergen Gmail. Once you go into your Gmail, um, the easiest way, we'll do it this way first. The easiest way is to go to the app launcher in Gmail, then just click on Naviance. Okay, that'll bring you right into Naviance. Um, if you don't, if you go to the Family Connection, uh, the Bergen webpage, you'll then click on uh, Continue with Single Sign-On, and then I'll, you'll be prompted um, to select your Bergen email address and make sure you log in with that um, through Gmail, then you'll, be, you'll get into Naviance. Okay? You will spend a lot of time um, with your guidance counselors uh, talking about Naviance throughout your four years. But it's just something you just need to make sure you have access to uh, ahead of time. Okay. Um, and like I said, you could also access that through, uh, through Gmail, which might be a few clicks um, shorter. If you're a parent, it is not single sign-on. You have to register for an account. And the information, the account information is on PowerSchool. Um, once you get on to PowerSchool, you can see your Naviance registration code. Um, it makes sense to try and get to PowerSchool first because all of your other information will be there um, uh, for Naviance and Blackboard, et cetera, if you're a parent. So for Naviance, you would click I'm new and need to register. Um, you would put in your registration code. And then your email address would be your username. Uh, once you put that in, you'll select a password. And once you select your password, you're ready to go. Okay? So that's it in terms of, of Naviance. Um, again, you'll be using it as a freshman. Um, it really, be, it comes into play as a, you know, in junior and senior year when you're doing recommendations and, and applying to colleges. But you'll be doing career and college readiness uh, in the freshman year. You'll be working uh, with your guidance counselors on that. Okay. Um, Blackboard uh, is your learning management system. Uh, we had, we, this year, as I said, we, we changed our, our Blackboard host and we changed our login. I think we've got the, the one bug that was bothering uh, a lot of us in terms of signing on, we fixed. So now when you go to sign in, um, you should, it should be seamless. You should not get an error that you've timed out or a single sign on error. Um, you'll choose login with your BC email address uh, and then you'll be prompted to, if you're not already signed in to your browser with your BC email address, you can also go to the app launcher and Gmail and get this and do the same thing. Okay. Um, you will see on Blackboard all of your classes. They're not there yet. Once your schedule's released, then your Blackboard classes will populate. Okay? Um, for you all, your summer reading um, is submitted to Blackboard. Um, I'll go back to parents in a minute. Your summer assignments, as a reminder, which are probably done, should be, um, should be posted. Uh, Mr. McElhoney did send out that note today about September 7th. He's giving an extension to September 7th. Uh, because of the weather last night and people who were trying to submit that were having issues uh, with and don't have power and whatnot. So um, remember, as a freshman, you're on the hook for three assignments, either Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2 for math. Everybody does the biology assignment and everybody does the reading and writing assignment. And that gets submitted um, to Blackboard. Okay? Um, if you're a parent accessing Blackboard, um, You'll go to the same. You'll go to the same Bergen webpage. Uh, your username is your son's student number, underscore the word observer one or observer two, and your Paraschool access code is your password. All right, that's the. And you'll find that information on uh, on PowerSchool uh, if you don't have it already. Okay? If you are a very late registrant, I, I think we've got everybody covered. Uh, but if you registered in the last few days, um, you may not have. Um, all of your account stuff created. Uh, it certainly will be for the start of the year. Uh, if you're having an issue, please reach out to the help desk uh, if you can't get on. Um, and they will certainly be able to uh, answer you, you know, uh, timely. We do understand that it's the start of the year, uh, and we will get through everybody uh, yes, as timely as we can. Uh, I talked about summer assignments. Uh, when you submit your summer assignment, um, you'll find the class that you're looking for, and then you will 
open the assignment, you click under content and click on the actual uh, submission box. And then once you click on the submission box, it'll, you'll be prompted to either upload a file. Um, if the, the science assignment, I believe, was a PDF that you had to work on by hand, and then you would scan that and submit that back. Um, show me how the assignments get uploaded. I can actually do that while we're on the topic. Let me, uh, let me switch here, and let's go to, no, let's use the right keyboard, and let's go to Gmail. Ooh, my iPad. Let's see. Gmail. Let's find the email address that I want. Okay. And let's go here. And let's go, let's go to Google Drive. And let's just change my... I'm going to sign in with my Bergen email. Yep, that is me. Thank God I saved my password because I don't remember what made my own password. Okay. So, when I go to my app launcher, I'm going to go to Blackboard. And I'm going to sign in with my Bergen Catholic email address. Now, let's say I'm submitting math. Uh, I'm going to click on the Algebra 1 class. I'm going to click on Content. I'll click on the submission, and then oh, I had actually uploaded. Actually, let me get rid of that one. Uh, I'll start. Yeah, okay. So you'll see this screen. So you can either you can either drop your your file here or browse for it. Click on browse local files. You would then go out and find uh, your file to submit. Um, and just for now, I will pick the first PDF file I come across if I have one on this computer, which I may not, uh, well, the screenshot, whatever the screenshot is, we'll, we'll post that. Um, so you'll see that your file name shows up here. And then once you click on, um, once the file is ready, let me take my picture off a minute, you'll click on submit. And then it will, it'll convert. Um, you'll see a preview. Um, but once you have it here where you have an attempt, you're good to go. Okay. Um, your file has been uploaded. Okay. Um, I see a question. District code, if you're logging in, uh, if you're logging into PowerSchool um, with the app, you're probably asked for a district code and... I always get the letter, the order of the letters wrong. So let me just make sure I give you the right series of letters. Here it's, I think it's F J X H, but I don't want to, I don't want to tell you that, and that's not right. Um, that's not here. Let's see. Let me just log on to Paraschool real quick, and I'll give you that answer. Um, Numerous times logging the blackboard on my phone. I've tried and using a password prior. So yeah, we'll get on. Um, if you're trying to, um, as a parent, log into Blackboard, um, I just uploaded a new file yesterday. Right, today's Thursday. Actually, I might have did it Tuesday. Of every um, of every parent, um, reach out to the help desk um, and and make sure they get you situated. Um, I did upload anybody that was in. If we don't have your email address, that could be a problem as well. Um, but if um, I'm looking for that code, if if you're having problems, email the help desk. Um, Bergen Catholic Power School District Code. Uh, yeah, and I know the help desk will be, We, I did ask, um, I've got two real good college students that answer those emails. They're going to work over the weekend um, to make sure that you've got issue. if you any issues that uh, you have would be, uh, would be addressed. Um, I'm trying for the life of me to find that 
code. Um, it is in, it, 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 it's, you know, it's, it's close. Um, oh, rats. I'm trying to think where in power school I could find it. I think it might be in district. Um, I think it's, I think it's FJ H X X H. I forget the, um, let me see district info. Oh, maybe it's here. And maybe it's not. Okay. That's that's it. Not nope, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, send the help desk an email. Um and, and, and ask them for the, the code. I'm unless I can find it in the next Oh, you did find the code? F F F F J C, that's it. Yep. Yes, F F J C. You're correct. Told you there was an F in there. I knew there was at least one, so um yeah, because I couldn't. I'm looking in Paris and I couldn't find it. So, uh, okay, I'll put my put that back there. Um, let me see. Oh, the last thing that I wanted to mention um, was make sure you've created your Apple ID. Um, if you, we covered down the beginning of August. Yeah. Use your school email um, to create your Apple ID. And then make sure you sign in with your Apple ID to your MacBook and your iPad. And then also make sure that you have um, Find My Device enabled on both. Um, that will come in handy if, God forbid, you misplace your device. Okay, That's something you want to do uh, before the school year starts. Uh, once you have your device uh, to sign in, make that Apple ID and sign in with um, onto both devices. Okay? And we covered that on the August 3rd episode. Right? Uh, and then lastly, I just wanted to review, because I know I've mentioned it uh, in passing, um, some uh, reminders. Um, as you, you know, be start the school year and as you're, you know, moving uh, around with your devices, don't bring them to the cafeteria. Okay? Some of you are going to ignore me. Don't bring them to the cafeteria. Okay. And I'm, I, am, I am violating, I'm, I'm doing cardinal sin because I'm drinking water. You know, even though I keep opening and closing the cup on my Yeti, um, I probably shouldn't be with the amount of electronics that are that are here. Um, it's really important that you don't bring your device to the cafeteria. Number one, you don't want to get any type of food or even worse beverage on it. Number two, you don't want to leave it in your backpack and then someone steps on your backpack, okay, and then crushes your laptop or your iPad, right? Um, when you are at gym or at lunch after school activities, um, anywhere, you should be um, locking your, your devices in your academic locker, which is your, your school locker, not, not in the gym, not in the locker room. You should lock it in your academic locker. And then your coach or whoever can always let you back up to, to get to that, okay? But it's really important that you put it in your locker and you actually lock your locker, okay? Um, Please don't try to change anything on your devices. Um, your devices are configured to work at, at Bergen, all right? Don't do anything that would not make them work at Bergen, okay? I understand that, you know, you might not be thrilled about, you know, the websites you can and can't access while you're at school, but, you know, that, that those protections are in place for a reason, all right? So please make sure that um, you're not doing anything you shouldn't be doing. Uh, the litmus test should be, would my mother approve of what I'm doing on my laptop, even at 43, I still, I still ask that question. Um, never leave your device unattended, right? So if you're going to charge it, um, make sure you're charging it in a spot where you have eyes on it. I'm not saying that it's going to get stolen. I'm saying that, you know, sometimes you get up and walk away and you don't realize you don't have your device or you left it charging someplace, okay? Don't leave it just sitting someplace, all right? That's really important. Uh, make sure you charge your device every day. Okay, so before you come to school, you should have a fully charged iPad and a MacBook. Right? Um, the charge will get you through the day, provided that you're not you know, gaming or watching movies or doing anything like that. You'll get you know, a, a charge, and that'll last you the whole day. Take care of your devices. Okay? Somebody paid good money for them. Right? Um, don't rely on the fact that, um, oh, if it gets broken, I can just go fix it. Um, while that may be true, it might not be an immediate fix. Okay, so make sure you take good care of your devices. Um, we do have a limited loaner pool, but our loaners are not guaranteed. So if something happens uh, to your device and it, um, 
you know, it's not working. Um, certainly we can try and get you a, a loaner, but we can't make a guarantee um, that we'll always have one available for you. All right. So just some stuff to keep in mind. Um, that's all I have. If anybody has any questions, if you want to throw them in the chat or, or yell them out, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to answer them. Mr. Spiegel. Yes. Hi, this is Claudia Hernandez. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you. I saw, I saw that you were showing, I was the person that asked how to show uh, how to uh, upload the assignments uh -huh. for like the English and the math. Yep. But when, when Daniel logs into Blackboard, he only sees the English assignment. He doesn't see a math or science to load it. Okay. You're, you're, I think your son was, did he register late? He did, yes. He did. I'm not sure that I have the placement for math yet. I know for, for science we can, um, we can put them in. I can actually uh, see if I can just do it on the fly right now. Um, the science I can put him in. The math I don't think – I have his placement yet, so um, as soon as I get that, uh, we'll put it in. And that's it's. Uh, there won't be an issue if you know it's if it's if it's a day late because you know he didn't have a class uh, on Blackboard. Right. Um, so please do not worry about that. Um, but okay. right now I will put him um, in the biology. Okay, and he's Daniel Hernandez. Yep, okay. and that's what I am. I got to go. So do you suggest then that he does, because he, he did already the geometry homework. So mm -hmm. he, he should. He, oh, so if she, I do, mean, that's if, if, if I, I wouldn't, if he's already taken algebra one, then he almost, you know, that's where he's going to go is geometry. So I, I would say he, he did the right, the right one. Um, we'll just wait for it to show up and then we can, we can post it. Um, okay. So D. Um, okay, so I just put him in to the class. Um, so he will be, um, he'll be able to submit the science one. And you know what okay, I'll do? Perfect. I'll put him in the geometry as well, because if that's, that sounds like where he's going to end up. Um, so I might as well just do that while I'm, while I'm here. Um, All right. Perfect. Thank so, you. Not a problem. Um, as long as everyone can, um, Generally, when I do this kind of stuff, I end up babbling to myself. So uh, as long as everybody <laughs> has the patience to listen to me babble to myself, um, I will put him somewhere assigned to geometry. There we go. Moments. Okay. Any info on the lunch program? How do we load? Uh, Mr. Murano in the cafeteria um, has been around for a really long time, and I will tell you since I was a student at Burton Catholic, um, and he is the one that handles um, – payment for lunches and all that i'm going to throw his email address in the chat it's cafe murano at aol.com and you can um you can reach out to him either he'll take he'll take a check um or you can also pay with a credit card um but he will also take a check um if your son brings in a check um but he's the he is the cafeteria manager if you will uh, and he like i said he's been around a long time uh, he does yes he does also take venmo that is correct thank you mrs sarantino he does take venmo uh, my son uploaded his english assignment to dj but only put one paragraph on the document he's not able to add another you know another way to upload yes let me um i thought i made that available for each one um let me log out and go in with this account um Originally, when we set them up, unless I missed it, we had set them up for multiple submissions. So if there was, uh, let's see, 20, let me just find that one. That was for English. So let's do summer. Uh, I'm almost positive I made myself a, there we go, 2021. That's the freshman reading writing assignment. Uh, let's see if we can't not edit that. And ooh, why does that not let me change? Um, what I can do, 
Um, if you, let's see. I think if I go in here, I will just be able to clear his submission. Your son's last name is Johnston as well? Yes. Okay. So Thanks. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear his, um, his first attempt so he can just, he can just post another one. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yep, and I'm doing that clear grade. Okay. Um, okay, and that's done. I don't want a grade. Manual override, grade history. Okay. Um, let's just make sure. Once, uh, hello, is the first day on Thursday a full day or a half day time is dismissal? I just saw, I believe, 11 o'clock is dismissal. Um, we're 8 to 11. So when you first come in, you will go and you will sit in the gym for about an hour. And uh, a bunch of us are going to um, – Mrs. Johnson, I did I, – I, I fixed it. It's gone. Um, you'll hear from a bunch of the administration, and then you'll go up to your homerooms, uh, and then you'll do a bunch of different things. Uh, you'll also – I'll review some of this stuff with the entire freshman class, and we'll do that over BCTV. Um, and then you're dismissed. I'm pretty sure it's 11 o'clock. That's what I saw. The the letter that is um, – we'll go out for Mr. McHoney, I think, said 11 o'clock. Um, I created an account at Power School. I tried to sign telling me email conference sent, but I'm not getting the email. Uh, check your spam folder. If it's not, please reach out to the help desk. Um, and, and have them create, they can create an account for you, uh, manually. Uh, upload document, got that one. Let me just, let me just double check that. I believe we're at, I think dismissal's at 11 o'clock. Let me just double check. Yes, it has to be because, no. Right? No, because everybody else coming the next day. Hang on, let me, let me look at my email orientation schedule. Oh, let's see. Yes, the last, uh, 11 o'clock. Yes would be dismissal. Where do we go to pick up the ID cards? You will be, um, if you uh, if you didn't get your ID card when you picked up your devices, um, we'll have them available for you in Homeroom, provided you have sent a picture. Uh, we'll hand them out in Homeroom. I'll give them to the Homeroom teachers. My pleasure. Anybody else with questions? I'm hoping that during the year, depending on, um, uh, we will, you know, I'll, I'll do some stuff like this uh, during the year because um, I think it's helpful. Um, and the recording, hopefully, where I'm doing, I'm experimenting again. So hopefully that what I've, what I've done will be nice and clean. I'll be able to send that up to Blackboard, uh, not Blackboard, YouTube, um, sooner rather than later. So uh, last call for questions, if anybody has any. When we receive the supply, there is no supply list per se. Each teacher will have their own requirements, and that'll be on their syllabus. That's uh, that you'll see on the first day of class. Um, generally, most don't have any special requirements. If they do, um, you know, they'll they'll tell you about it the first day. Uh, I will tell you uh, when I had Brother Repke for freshman year English. I brought in. He wanted a five subject notebook and the five subject binder or the binder with five tabs wasn't good enough so uh each of the teachers you'll you'll if they have anything special you'll hear from them on the on the first day sure anybody else with any questions anybody else with any questions that i can answer all right well uh, that concludes our i guess episode five and uh, are these prior yes if as long as you um submitted an ID picture. Um, you can go in on Tuesday and pick up. I don't want to say tomorrow because I don't know. We're, we're officially, the school's closed tomorrow uh, for the long weekend. Um, so you could come in on Tuesday um, and, and pick it up. Uh, the, the IT office can, uh, even if they, as long as we have your picture, even if they haven't printed it, which I'm pretty sure they, 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 they've done it, they can, they can print it for you. So, you know, ideally to get them in. Also, before I forget too, because I mentioned it, um, I forget when I was, when I was speaking, uh, I think it was at orient the orientation, but, um, uh, we did get the cases for the iPads. 
um, and they, uh, if you ordered an iPad through the school, we, you can get your case as well uh, when you come in for your ID card. Forgot to mention that. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay. Well, um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I hope you have a, uh, a, a enjoyable Labor Day weekend, and I look forward to seeing you and meeting you, uh, freshman class of 2025, uh, next Thursday uh, as you begin your four-year uh, career at Bergen Catholic. So I wish you all the best. Uh, have a great night. Thank you. Um, and thank you for attending tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.